Hello. Today, I'm going to give you some tips on one of the species of the snakehead fish family. There are currently more than 30 legitimate species of snakeheads recorded, and the forest snakehead is just one of them. Forest snakeheads, also known as Chana lucius, inhabit slow-flowing or almost no-current river systems like in the forest, lakes, streams, swamps, and places with water temperatures between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Water systems with a pH between 5 and 7.5 are also ideal. The fish can often reach up to 40 centimeters in length. This fish distribution involves a wide variety of locales. It is a native fish to Malaysia, Laos, Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, and from southern China. In Southeast Asia, everyone is hunting them, mostly for the meat. Hardly seeing anyone release the fish these days, in part because it tastes so good. Early morning and late in the evening are the best times to hunt the forest snakehead. They don't enjoy hot weather conditions and always tend to hide under any structure or dark areas. Now the forest snakehead makes smaller fish like shrimp and crabs its main diet. So using any kind of baits like worms, paddle tails, swim baits, and soft frogs are usually a good option. Granite strike geli geli worms and nyat nyat also work well. You can also use our sea louse spoon for forest snakeheads residing in the stream area. Depending on your fishing spot, usually light to medium setups will be ideal because the forest snakehead lives under the structures and the first place that they go after taking the bait is under it. But for small streams, you can always go for an ultralight setup because the sizes are usually small. Forest snakeheads like snaggy areas, so targeting around structures or weeds will often give you good results. If you want to use some soft baits or some of the soft frogs, retrieve them slowly and steadily, using some pauses in between. These are a territorial species, and so anything that drops within the range will usually be attacked. The fish is hard to find nowadays, so practicing catch and release is highly welcome. Try to do your best to protect the fish. Use landing nets and proper hooks. Release them safely if you don't intend to take them back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.